There's so many very important artists have come to work here. A lot of them from Northern Ireland, Ulster, with Belfast. WB Yeats did a painting of McDara's Island. And Jack B Yeats was painted on one side and WB was possibly painted on the other. That's the story I have. Um, people like Paul Henry, Letitia Hamilton painted here. And of course the, the three men on an island, the people who inspired me to come here, Jared Dillon, George Campbell, James McIntyre. And we've just had a sort of set, steady stream of Irish con and international contemporary artists over the past two decades. Uh, so Culture Night is kind of, when I started organising it here was 2012. So we had a, an art walk around the village, which I did with little illustrated examples of work that had been made in Roundstone over the years. Um, and then we had Mick O'Dea did a talk about his his work that he has been making, uh, he did a, a trilogy of exhibitions based on 1916, the Civil War and the War of Independence. So we've had artist talks and lectures, we've had music, we've had poetry, we've had workshops, we've had all sorts over the years. But it's a lovely way to kind of round off the summer um, and to bring a bit, you know, to, to have artists here kind of off season when we're not competing with tourists or things like that. And once Tim and Maria were kind of finally laid to rest last November, it was kind of, where do we go next? Then when Culture Night was coming up, I, I really wasn't sure what I was going to program. And I was on a very, very tight time scale when I was in London and I met everybody over there at the Memorial in Goldsmiths. That became such a natural idea to have a rhinestone conversation where people come and they set out their stall as, this is who I am and this is what I make. And I thought, let's do this again. And they were so much part of Culture Night. I mean, one of the last times I saw them was just standing right there in 2017 at Culture Night. It's kind of keeping their work alive. We don't know what's really happening, you know, in terms of legacy with the house and all that. The legacy that they've left is, is bigger than four walls. So I think in a way to, to get that and go forward with it and continue in that spirit is the best way to honour Tim and Maraid.